Nastasio here, back on the free play account, and this is an account that's unnamed, as you can see there, and really all you're doing in the early stages of an account is essentially raiding, raiding, raiding. You can see here I got Executioner level 17, Pain to level 11, and Frost Witch is quite the hero package. These are heroes that are not extraordinary. They are simply ordinary, if you will. And Frost Witch is literally an ordinary hero that is a green hero that you can purchase for like five shards. Okay, it's more than five. But anyways, the reason why you're raiding, raiding, raiding is because you want to build up your resources and your mana. You can see right here I'm maxed out on mana. And uh, yeah, we got to name the account. Yeah, we'll name the account. IGG will name the account. Stop telling me to name the account. I'll name the account. I'll name the account. I gotta name the account soon so you can start earning honor badges. That's one of the first things you should do. Because once you name your account, you can lay down the arena and get some honor badges going at least 50 per hour. Versus like however, whatever you're earning until then, which is very little. I think it caps out or something. I forget the exact details, but... And, uh... You can see here, as we grind up on the Town Hall 2, we can add that fourth base. However, we don't actually have a hero to put on the fourth base. And what I'm doing here towards the center of the screen is I'm building the core, if you will, the core foundation of the base we'll be moving to. For those of you that have been following my series, you will know this base soon. What de design this is, what strategy we're going with here. But it's a base that I like to call the Peon Clover. And what you do is you build a cross of hero bases right there in the center. You can see the little X there. If you were to add one right where Frost Witch was just standing, then you would have a little X. And then you would have four vaults in sort of nested into the little wedges of the X in the corner of the X. And that becomes the foundation of the center of a flower or a leaf petal, if you will. Anyhow, the base is named Peon Clover, and it's named after what was the Death Clover created by Leary93 way back in January to beat like a Here Be Monster V or something. D as in Daniel. So it wasn't a super uber base, but it was a really awesome base that allowed the heroes to path in and A, grow onto the vaults or towers. It'll eventually be towers, but we're not quite there yet. We don't have four towers. We don't get that for quite a while. I think four or five, six, seven, eight, maybe town hall levels from now will be there. But for right now, you want to use your highest hit point structure that are three by three big in terms of their footprint, and that leaves you with vaults. And those are the things we're leveling right now anyways. So quite naturally, that is going to be what we're going to be using for sort of uh, the wedge there. And what this is, is it's basically a here be monster A through D base. I live in the Peon Clover from Town Hall 8, which is when you can build it, because you need 80 walls, 80 walls, because every little leaf on the clover takes 20 walls. And so that's what we're building up to there. And that's why we're raiding, 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 because we need gold, 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 so that we can keep building walls, walls, walls. <laughs> so as you can see, it'll slowly come into formation. I won't actually get up to Town Hall 8 by the end of this video, so you won't see it full, but you can kind of get the idea. Or you can simply go to YouTube, search and search Peon Clover, and you'll see my two or three videos that I've done on the Peon Clover, and go from there. It's a really great base and it works really awesome for Here Be Monster A and it allows you to beat Here Be Monster A which will be farming over and over and over and over and over and over and over again until we get our Druid and our Paladin in which case maybe, maybe, just maybe we'll do Here Be Monster B. I don't normally do Here Be Monster B though until my heroes are all level 60 and the question remains is do we want to take executioner panda and frost witch up that high because they're not very good heroes i hear that there's a maintenance coming soon here and we get gems when we do a maintenance and maybe then we'll roll a little bit more for some heroes and uh hopefully i'm kind of hoping that i don't get any you know too good of heroes 
I don't really want a Pumpkin Duke or uh, Immortep or anything like that. But, you know, maybe like a champion or something we could live with. And But well, we're going to keep raiding here. And by the way, so that raid too, you know, some of my first early series were how to build an account for smurfing it up. And smurfing it up is basically when you build a low might account to simply raid for resources. Now we are technically raiding for resources. However, we want to take the base to 100% and it gets to 100% and then we get all the experience which helps our heroes level faster. However, if we were smurfing, we would just pretty much be hitting up those resources there and then exiting. And every now and then I'll do that if I get a sweet base. And uh, yeah, we're going for gold here. We got our gold vaults almost full there and that's perfect because we want to get those suckers full and then we are good to go. Now, what I have right now is not the actual full peon clover design because what you need is the walls to be, you need basically four spaces from your buildings on the interior core of your base. You need four spaces to the end of the wall and that's so that ranged heroes have to actually walk in those little channels. So what I'm doing right now is I'm expanding the base. You want it to go, so you see the four right next to that blue vault. See how there's four that go out to the main structure there. One, two, three, four. You count those there as I was just going around and you can see that there were 19 total wall pieces going around there. And you can see I'm spilling out the little 19 there. 19. And then what I do is I take one little tiny segment and put it right there at the tip of the vault. And the reason I do that is if you take it away, you can see that there's a little gap right there. And if uh, you're doing player versus player defense, people are just going to drop in right there and own you. I mean, they're going to own you anyways because it's a newbie base, basically. Yeah, but yeah, that's exactly how we want it. There's 20 pieces per clover. That is why we're going to Town Hall 8. You get 10 walls per Town Hall level. So once we get to Town Hall 8, we got 80 walls. And then the goal for these walls is to get them to level 5. Because level 5 walls are the black one. And the black one looks coolest. <laughs> but there's actually, actually a real functional reason why you actually want level 5 walls. That is because when you run Here Be Monster A, a couple of them have self-destruct or area of effect. For example, Marksman is present during Here Be Monster A, and Marksman, when Marksman procs, she randomly hits three things around her. And it can be walls, it can be vaults, it can be your heroes, but it can be walls is the key point here. And what happens is if she breaks the walls in like say wave one, of Here Be Monster A, then all the future waves are gonna walk right through your walls and the base fails. So you do not want them to be level one, two, or three. It starts to work perfect around level four, but five looks coolest. So our goal should actually be to get those walls up to level five, which does not take very much gold. So. That is one goal here. And yes, we're going to name the account. Uh, continue with the suggestions. I'm reading every comment on these series. I am not replying to every comment because that would take me forever. <laughs> uh, also, a quick note on Dr. Distagio for those of you that made it this far in the video. Again, the series is a little slower than my normal ones, and I am running video at two times speed here. But uh, for Dr. Distagio, I've gotten like 100 plus requests to do that and the problem is I don't have enough time to do a hundred <laughs> um, what I am looking for right now though is a medium-ish progression account and I would define that as something like level 80 heroes with a mix of legendaries epics it can be all legendaries too but just nothing like super high like level 140 because I might as well just record on my main account if that's the case but if someone's got like a level 80s and they're like kind of on a Here Be Monsters C, D, or E, I haven't done anything around those levels in a while now. So that would be great. If, uh, if you do have an account that would qualify, what you need to do is send an email with a screenshot of the altar and your base. And when you take a screenshot of your base on your device, Take a screenshot of your base with your town hall selected so I can see what level it is. 
and uh, you could also type it in too. And then send that to distagiocc at gmail.com. And I am looking at Dr. Distagio up an account of that type. That would be very helpful. Or less, by the way. I should say or less. Level 80 or less. In fact, I would probably take anything between 40 and 80, just not 20. Because, hey, if you want to see some videos on heroes that are level 20, then you should be watching this series. Because that's what this account exactly is. And now let's think about troops and I like centaur simply because they do bonus damage against griffins dirty birds if you will uh, let's bring up griffins here and most people go griffins so we simply want to take what defeats most people and that is why I almost always go hoochie mamas or centaurs and also because they are beautiful as always keep it dirty and a dirty up <laughs>